Hi everyone, in this video I will show a few commands you can use if you use online archive in Office 365. The first command checks the archive status for a specific mailbox. First I'm going to use get-mailbox-identity. Here you're going to add that user's email address. In this case is going to be this user's email address. As you can see here, it shows archive status active. So this user has online archive and it's active. So it's, it's good in scenarios, for example, the manager asks you, can you check to see if the online archive is enabled for this user or this mailbox? Instead of going to the Exchange Online Admin Center, you can use this command and get the status faster. Now, let's say you confirm that this user has online archive. Now you want to get the size and the total item that's been archived for that user. So now I'm going to use this command. This time I'm going to use get dash mailbox statistics identity is going to be the email address of that user dash archive I'm going to type display name. Then I'm going to type total item size. And item count. You notice here it shows display name is going to be in place archive for this user total item size is going to be the size of the online archive it's a fairly new mailbox so that's why the size is very you know it's very small and item count is going to be this number so can run this command and get a little bit more information about a mailbox and what's going on in the online archive this is a good command because when you have an online archive in your tenant, you need to monitor the online archive status. And if you notice the online archive is growing too fast or it's getting to its limit, you need to add another license to expand the online archive. And you don't have to go to Exchange Online Admin Center and using this command, you can get the result faster. These two commands that I just showed you, it's, it's good if you're tar targeting a specific mailbox. But let's say you want to check the status of every single mailbox in your tenant and you want to know which ones have online archive enabled. You can use this command here. I'm going to add these commands in the description of this video. But if you run this command, it's going to list every single mailbox that you have in your tenant and it's going to show you which ones have online archive active and which ones are not. So that's another good command that you can use. And once in a while you can run to see, for example, who has online archive enabled. Again, instead of going to Exchange Online Admin Center, you can run this command and get the list of mailboxes in your tenant. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.